I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to take a sting from the most aggressive ant on the planet. Ah! This nest here in front of me is home to the Australian bulldog ant that can both bite and sting, and I'm about to find out just how much damage it can do. I'm going to attempt to use this little stick to try to get a bulldog ant for our sting test. All right, got our forceps, small container. Now we just need the bulldog ant itself. I'm going to lightly disturb the entryway. Oh, here we go, got him already. That makes me nervous. The ants are starting to swarm. You see how big they are? This is like a volcano of ants. Oh, gosh, it almost got me. They're getting on me. All right, I'm gonna have to get our ant fast. Here we go. I got it. Yes. Oh, man. Oh. There we go, we've got one. That is a really good size bulldog ant. Starting to swarm a little too much to hang out here. Let's go reposition away from the nest so we can get a closer look at one of the scariest ants in the world. Australians fear these massive ants because they attack in swarms and without warning. If you accidentally disturb them, you can be covered in just a matter of seconds. Bulldog ants can be found all over Australia and often build nests in people's yards and local parks, which is exactly where we discovered these ants. This particular species is one of the largest, growing to over one inch in length. And of course, for this sting test, we wanted the big dogs, so we could compare how they rank against the legendary bullet ants of South and Central America. Now it's time to find out which is worse. <sighs> All right, guys, it is officially go time with the bulldog ant. Look at the size of this insect. Size-wise, I would definitely say it gives the bullet ant a run for its money, but appearance? This ant is second to none when it comes to intimidation factor. But before I test the might of this insect, let's get it out of the container and take an even closer look at those jaws and its stinger. All right, here we go. Oh, it's already jumping out. I wanna be very careful right now. And they are so aggressive. Look at that, it's already biting on the forceps. I'm just gonna try my best to get a good grip. And I'm getting nervous, gosh, hang on. All right, I gotta get it on the ground. Here we go. Unlike other ants, they don't really react to scents and pheromones, they react to sight. So anytime I try to grab it with the forceps, it sees that I'm coming. There we go. Okay, perfect hold. There it is. No animal has been requested for a sting test more than the bulldog ant in the history of Brave Wilderness. And now I can see why. Wow, I have never seen a more terrifying looking ant in my entire life. Let's start at the top. Look at the size of those mandibles. They are like serrated shears attached to these bulbous eyes, almost like a vice grip, just ready to snap and pinch on to anything it can touch. Look at the eyes of the ant. You can really see how much it reacts by using its sight. Look how it turns its head to the different ways that I position my finger around it. And then, of course, before we get to the stinger, I just have to say, look at the size of those legs because they are visually stimulated. They use their extremely long legs to extend quickly and flick themselves onto any would-be predator, earning them the name jumping jacks. And then of course, we can see the stinger flying already from the abdomen. Like other stinging insects, only the females can sting. This is actually a century or a soldier ant tasked with guarding the front of the nest. And you saw with just the slightest disruption, a fleet of soldiers came flying out of the nest ready for attack. They got all over my boots and nearly took a sting right away, but we saved the sting for this moment in the video. The sting of this ant is said to be one of the most painful experiences that you can get from any animal here on the continent of Australia. Some even argue in the world. The biggest difference between bullet and bulldog ant stings are the toxins they use. Bullet ants use a Panera toxin, which is slow building and can last for days, where bulldog ants use formic acid that causes instant pain. And when these ants swarm and cover people by the dozens, they have the ability to take down a fully grown adult. Holy cow, she's looking at me. Oh my gosh, look at that stinger go. I have a feeling this is going to hurt. I'm Mark Vins and I'm about to enter the sting zone with one of the most terrifying ants on the planet, the Australian Bulldog Ant. On three, one, two, three. Ah, yeah, ah, oh, 
my car. Do you see the stinger going in? Ah! Yeah! That's a good sting. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Oh! Ah, it's really got a stinger in me. Ah, look at it. Stinger's in. Ah! Ah! Back in the jar. Oh, that hurts. All right. Ah. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That burns. That is a super, super intense sting. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Let me compose myself. Oh. Oh man. That was like instant fire underneath my skin. So much more like potent than the bullet ant. But I can tell you this, the bite was really nothing. Didn't really get a good grip on with those jaws, but it certainly got its stinger stuck in my arm and it getting a little dry now. Hang on, my adrenaline's kicking in. You okay, Mark? Yeah, I'm all right, I think. Uh, all right, geez, it's all so hot out all of a sudden. All right, I think I'm good to continue on. All right, oh, you bulldog. Oh, all right, see that stinger sight? Got a little bit of a acute swelling, maybe some residual bumps, and it definitely burns. I would say the initial onset of the sting, it was like a lightning bolt, way more intense than a bullet ant. But, and I can tell you it's already starting to subside a bit. But, wow, that is a rip shot of pain. Man. <clears throat> really getting dry mouth, guys. The, uh... Is your EpiPen in your backpack? It, it is, I've got my EpiPen, don't worry. Yeah, I don't, I don't need it yet, but got to monitor my, make sure my tongue's not swelling up or anything. But holy cow, that sting is like a hammer. It's like somebody literally just took a hammer and went wham, instantaneous pain. Not even a small delay. As soon as the stinger touched my skin, boom, it was on. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that one because I don't think I want to go arm to stinger again with that intimidating little ant. Now I am not out of the woods by any means. I'm going to continue to monitor this sting over the next two days. I can tell you this, a single sting from a bulldog ant so far does not compete with the bullet ant. Unlike the bullet ant that just started to build and build and build, I'm starting to really get past that initial wave of pain. And now I'm just really more dealing with the, uh, the after effects of adrenaline, starting to get that like queasy stomach, cold sweat, and just simple nausea that I usually get after taking a sting. But a swarm of bulldog ants, I would estimate could take even the most pain tolerant person to their knees. All right, I think I'm gonna need some ice. Ugh. Sure enough, things got a lot worse. Just hours later, the redness and inflammation flared up and were joined by an intense itching that lasted for several days. Compared to other stings I've taken, this one was a sleeper that turned into a monster. Bulldog ant stings are known for their instant pain, so I was shocked when I was hit with these delayed reactions. While I did not experience the 24 hours of deep bone break pain that the bullet ant gave me. Ah! Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, that is searing pain. This was far from an ordinary walk in the park. In fact, as of the editing of this video, my arm is still discolored and healing. If I were to have been swarmed and stung like the stick in the beginning of the video, it would have been a very bad situation. But now I know exactly why Australians go so far out of their way to avoid the jumping tear that is the bulldog ant. Yikes. Oh.